Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with my update for Sunday, December 29th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Just click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, a free $60 account. Consider it a great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Click on the link below the video to get started. All right, we'll get to our free pick in the NFL for Sunday in just a moment. Coming to you kind of late uh, as we're into the Sunday morning hours now, past midnight here on the West Coast. Also got heavily involved with the Vegas Golden Knights game and being down there on the Strip meant uh, we got home a little bit later than we normally do on Saturday. So here we go with a, a video up a little bit later, but we're going to get it up. We're going to make it quick so you can certainly take advantage if you agree and want to jump on board with us uh, or if you want to play against us either way bottom line is you're gonna have plenty of time to do it because we're gonna look at the Sunday night game in just a moment uh, no laughing matter yesterday we went into Saturday on a nice 43 and 26 62 percent football run over the previous nine plus weeks and then I really had a clunker on Saturday in the college football bowl started out the real bad loss by Iowa State they turned the ball over a couple of times and then that was that I mean they just mailed it in Brock Purdy was terrible uh, it was the wrong side as simple as that happens sometimes on Unfortunately, it happened on Saturday, and then we ended up with a chance to win with Ohio State, and of course, you saw what happened down the stretch. Kind of tough when you gain over 510 yards of offense and only score two touchdowns. I, I was texting guys back and forth, uh, kind of peeking at that game while at the NHL game and, and uh, watching Dobbins drop two touchdown passes, and at that point, instead of being up 24-0, they're up 16-0, and I was kind of swapping texts with a couple of other betters going, boy, I hope this doesn't come back to bite us. It certainly did, and then of course, the interception with the receiver cutting the wrong way in the end zone but again a bad day in football a decent day in basketball overall we went uh, two and one in college baskets we're now 83 percent going back about eight days in college basketball so our college basketball numbers are starting to come together i've got two plays in college baskets on sunday's card led by a five star play uh, those plays will be available 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific on sunday as far as the nfl i've got three plays plays up and available right now at DocSports.com. And again, we're going to look to get right back in the win column after the week Saturday uh, showing in the College Football Bulls. Again, we went into the week in 43 and 26, still hitting 60% against the spread the last almost 10 weeks now, even with Saturday's results. So go check that out. It includes a six-unit side in Sunday's NFL. Final day of the regular season, we got three plays available right now, DocSports.com. Uh, again, NBA and NHL, uh, those are released at one p.m. Eastern time, so check those out also. Last night in the NBA uh, ended up with the Philadelphia 76ers for most being a push. Uh, unfortunately, in our one loss in college basketball and our one NBA play, a push, uh, were both underdogs uh, that lost in overtime or pushed in overtime. The unfortunate part about that is, of course, at the end of regulation, which who cares, right? Uh, but again, at the end of regulation, all four games were covering. We end up 2-1-1 one, and one for the day. But go grab it all on Sunday. The football available right now as I speak. A real quick note, if you tune into those ESPN shows every Sunday morning, uh, the show has been pushed back to the late afternoon action. Uh, we're going to be on real quick on Sunday if you want to check it out. Around 4.05 p.m. Eastern time, we'll have late betting information on those late games, all those meaningful games on ESPN, so check out an ESPN location near you. Real quick note for you guys, though, as far as where the betting is right now, uh, when it comes to uh, the most tickets bet, or probably, I guess you could say the biggest public side would be on the Kansas City Chiefs, sh uh, followed short, uh, followed, I should say, closely by the Indianapolis Colts. So the Chiefs laying the points over the Chargers, the Colts laying the points over Jacksonville. Of course, the adjustment on that Colts line after uh, all this, uh, the soap opera type situation that's going on with the Jacksonville Jaguars front office sideline, uh, Minshew probably not playing, Leonard Fournette not playing. So we seen that line shoot up but KC and Indianapolis two biggest public sides biggest lopsided play percentage wise as far as the money is concerned right now is on New Orleans minus the points over Carolina New Orleans getting over 75 percent of the overall money and as far as the sharps versus squares the Joes versus pros uh, the Joes are on the New York Jets uh, excuse me the Buffalo Bills the Joes are on the Bills to the tune of about 65 percent of the tickets the sharp action on the the Jets 
in that game. Also, we're seeing pros versus Joe's action with the public on the Cleveland Browns, yet the sharper money on the Cincinnati Bengals. So real quick report there. As far as, again, those late games are concerned, uh, we will have that report on ESPN at 4.05 Eastern Time, 1.05 p.m. Pacific on Sunday afternoon. Uh, by the way, excuse me for the hat and the disheveled look, but again, uh, we were quite involved with that NHL game on the Strip in Las Vegas. And uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, for those of you who are fans of the Knights, have moved into first place in their division. We're happy about that. Uh, let's get into our free pick for Sunday's card. And uh, we're going to recommend a play in the Sunday night football game between the Niners and the Seahawks. We actually like Seattle plus the points in this game. Now, they're getting as high as three and a half, so shop around if you like my side. Listen, if you like the other side and like San Francisco, make sure you only lay three. There are numbers on both. There are threes out there. There are three and a halves. If you're taking the dog, don't take less than three and a half. If you're laying the field goal or you're laying the points with San Francisco, you, you don't lay more than three. It's as simple as that. So we happen to like the under dog here plus the points with Seattle both teams with injuries of course you've heard about Seattle having to dig deep to find a running back going with the beast and uh, he'll be suited up for this game the thing is is Russell Wilson's playing so well having a career year a guy who's having a Hall of Fame career is having a career year and I think he can overcome the issues that they have at running back and uh, some of the other issues that they have on offense in this particular game both teams have injuries on defense but I'm really concerned with San Francisco's defensive injuries because the injuries to the the personnel that are banged up are probably going to cost them dearly when it comes to putting pressure on the quarterback in this game and I think that's going to be a big difference in the contest I'll take Russell Wilson plus the points at home over Jimmy Garoppolo in this awesome in this contest also and uh, again you know about Pete Carroll in Seattle primetime games once he won 27 out of 33 and one of those that he didn't win happened to be a, a, a tie uh, so it's a situation where they just win in primetime games like him plus the points in this one I think the injuries to San Francisco are going to prove more costly to them than the injuries to Seattle. The Seahawks plus the points is our free pick. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Sorry about Saturday's results. Not good in the bowl action. We lost here uh, with the free pick where you look to get right back in the win column. Go grab the plays on Sunday. And of course, again, the free pick is on Seattle plus the points. We'll be right back here on Monday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Promise you on that one. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column.